hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. You know, um, ladies and gentlemen, the Tyson Fury fans are just getting worse by the second. Now they're just grasping for air. They are, uh, you know what I'm saying, trying to find a needle in a haystack. I mean, it's just getting to the point to where they're just looking worse by the minute for trying to justify their heroes cheating, which I'm going to talk about Tyson Fury and the double standards of boxing and the racism as a whole. But now it's just getting to the point to where now you're just laughing at them now. Now the new latest excuse is, well, 10 years ago, Deontay Wilder got knocked down. So he he just has a weak chin. So that's why Tyson Fury was okay. But what about all the other fights? What about the Luis Ortiz fight? Took his best shots. Luis Ortiz couldn't bring him down. What about the first fight with Tyson Fury? Tyson Fury never hurt Wilder in that fight. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this, but this just goes to show you more and more that Tyson Fury apologists and everybody involved with this scandal pretty much now is starting to accept the fact that Tyson Fury did something he didn't have no business doing. And basically they're trying to find the worst best excuse to justify what Tyson Fury did to Deontay Wilder. Because you cannot explain Deontay Wilder having a dent in his in his head. And like I said, this is just getting beyond pathetic with the Tyson Fury apologists. They don't want to accept the L because at the end of the day, this is a L for them as far as morals go and as far as what really happened because they wanted this W in the worst way. And they know that Tyson Fury didn't achieve this W on the up and up. They know it and it's hurting them. It's hurting them. And they're having a, a difficult time accepting it. So it's it's just getting worse and worse. And I just think the Tyson Fury apologists need to just just stand down and, and accept what's coming. It's all it, it's all coming. Trust me. And there's not gonna be any excuse you guys can come with. So it is what it is. It's not my fault. You won't accept it. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.